When it comes to building websites that generate income, do you feel like a bit of a loser? Like you're always working on projects, but you never have anything to show for it. Well, let me ask you two questions. One, how many websites have you started building? And two, how many websites do you actually have on a live server? Now, if you're anything like me, the answer to the first question will be a very high number, while the answer to the second question will be a very low number or even zero. But I've got some good news for you, because if you keep watching to the end of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can increase this number. We can't do much about this number, unfortunately. Yeah, we're just going to have to live with the shame on that one. So we have a problem, and that problem is we start building more websites than we finish. Way more. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, John, why is this a problem? That's my name, by the way. It was between John and Fergus, and my parents went with John. It's not a big deal if I constantly start building websites. After all, I'm learning new web development skills, I'm improving my existing skills, and besides, I'm not hurting anybody. Well, here's the thing, you are actually hurting someone, you're hurting yourself. Now, don't get me wrong, if you just enjoy building websites and you're purely doing it for a hobby, then you're doing nothing wrong and you're not hurting anybody. But if your goal is to build websites that generate you income, then this approach is definitely hindering you. Because every time you start a new website and you don't finish it, that's time down the drain. And time is precious because we're not going to be here forever. But what do I mean by finish a website? Because after all, a website's never truly finished, is it? Well, what I mean in this case is make it publicly accessible on a live server. Now, don't get me wrong. Just because a website is live and publicly accessible, it does not guarantee that it is going to make money. I'm definitely not saying that. But you don't need to be Einstein to figure out that every website sitting on your local computer, unpublished, has a 0% chance of making you money. And the last time I checked, that's a pretty rubbish success rate. So how do we solve this problem? How do we make sure we see our projects through to the end and make them live? Well, in order to answer that question, we first need to look at why we do this. Why we keep starting new projects and rarely or never make them live. The answer is surprisingly simple. So brace yourself because unlocking this is like having a superpower. Take a look at this guy. This is you. You're a little farmer. You've got all these website ideas. Now let's imagine that each website idea is a seed. And in order for that seed to grow or become a money-making website in our case, all we need to do is put some soil in a pot and put the seed in that soil. Now, what I used to do is get to work straight away and start filling my pot with soil. So this would look like designing a logo, coming up with a feature, tweaking the design, coming up with a color scheme, changing the color scheme, reverting back to the original color scheme, adding a new feature, changing the feature, and so on and so on and so on. I would constantly look back at what I've been working on and feel proud of what I'd done. In this case, our farmer looks back at his pot of soil and is impressed by the progress he is making. This goes on for a while and some weeks pass by. And in our heads, it's all okay. We keep patting ourselves on the back and telling ourselves what a good job we're doing. One day we see a farmer in the next field and he's doing a very similar thing to us, but we notice he is using a different colored pot. We look at our pot and we realize a seed isn't gonna grow in a pot this color. So we decide we should change our pot to the same color as the farmer in the next field. So we get a fresh pot and we start transferring the soil over from our previous pot. For me, this looked like starting a project on one platform and then switching over to a different platform, but it can take many forms. This is time consuming and we spill some of the soil, but in our heads, we tell ourselves it's okay because we want to give our seed the best chance of growing. More time passes and we start to lose interest in filling this pot, but then we remember we've got this big jar of ideas. So we leave our pot behind and grab a new seed from the jar. This idea will of course need a brand new pot. So we get a brand new pot and we start the process again, abandoning the previous pot or website in our case. We didn't even get round to plotting our seed because we were so busy trying to perfect our pot of soil. And before we know it, we have loads of unfinished projects and zero live projects. And the unfortunate truth is, for many of us, we never get round to planting our seed. You see, I was stuck in this cycle for years until one day I had enough. I just could not take it anymore. I was sick and tired of making no progress. I decided something had to change. So I thought to myself, why don't I do things differently? Why don't I put a tiny bit of soil in my pot and then put the seed in straight away? This way I can add more soil as I go because the seed only needs a small bit of soil to begin with. And as the seed starts to grow, I can gradually add more soil to accommodate it. So this is what I did. And this is how I shifted my entire thought process. Instead of spending months trying to create the perfect website before making it live or planting my seed, I decided to go live on day one. This is when everything changed. This is when things actually started happening. 
Because when you go live on day one, something amazing happens. You get clarity. You instantly get a better understanding of what is important and what is not important. Instead of focusing on minute details like what border radius to use on your buttons, you focus on what is the most basic feature you can build that is gonna give the most value to your users. Because all the time you're faffing, trying to create the perfect website on your local machine, your website could have been live and working for you. And even if you do manage to put your site live after working on it for months, there is no guarantee it will be a success. And if it isn't a success, you have just wasted months. Now don't get me wrong, there is also no guarantee of success when you go live on day one. But the difference is you can find out much sooner and you'll be more focused on the parts of your website that actually matter, therefore increasing your chance of success. By the way, if you wanna get productivity tips to help you go live on day one, straight into your email inbox, use the link in the description to sign up to my emailing list. You might as well, it is free. So now we understand the problem and we kind of understand the solution. But what does it actually look like to go live on day one? Because we surely need to have something to put on our live server. Well, yeah, we do, but probably not as much as you think. Watch this video and I'll show you how I make my websites live on day one.